Hello, everybody. Welcome to What the Flick. Alonzo Duraldi, Robert Abeley, uh, stupid swag hat they gave out to promote the season one DVD. Uh, this is The Americans, the season two, episode two, Cardinal. Uh, ben Mankiewicz is out sick. He was electrocuted by a hidden money box. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this season is clearly setting itself up to be a long game. There's going to be, you know, it, it, I think last season the emotional stories were arcs and the FBI stuff was arcs. This year, uh, but, but like each sort of individual mission kind of wrapped up with each episode. But this year we're looking at one big, at least for the first part of the season, one big story here. It, yeah, it seems to be taking the, uh, it's reminding me of how Justified, uh, Justified the first season had stories that were indivi told in, in each individual episode. And then they decided, why don't we try something a little more ambitious? And then the mm -hmm. second season you got a longer story and, 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 and it, 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 it enriched the, 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 the show. And I think that the Americans is doing that yeah. for sure here. So it's the mystery of you know who took who, out the other couple, right? Uh, and you know who can they trust and who's looking after them? And so yeah, they're definitely upping the paranoia ante this year with you know delivery vans and whatnot. <laughs> yes, which is which is what you want from a spy show. You want you want no one to feel like they're comfortable. Sure. And uh, yeah, certainly ha having um, uh, having uh, Carrie Russell's character Elizabeth. Am I correct about that? Yes, it and, it, and it was Philip, not Peter, last week. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, Russians, no. you know. I, yeah, having Elizabeth kind of looking around, being kind of wary about things. It's 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 going to be good for the show. She's now going to start questioning all, everything about about their lives now. Mm -hmm. uh, now that uh, Phil has gotten one of their kids involved and their friends have been right. brutally murdered. Um, but I was really, I mean, if you love Spycraft, the, you know, clearly the, uh, the stuff where, where Phil goes to, to Emmett's house and, and that, that was just, that was great. Yeah. That was all really, I, I loved his little, his little thing that he would use to kind of like open doors, his little... Oh, the screwdriver? The screwdriver, yeah, yeah, so yeah never, just kind so of poke around with things. Prints. Yes, that was... I don't know, for some reason I, like, I love that touch. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I was noticing that too. Um, and then the whole thing with the walk-in at, uh, at, yes. the, at the Residentura. Yes. Does that happen? Do people just like show up and, you Absolutely. Know? No, that, that kind of, that, that's, the, I mean, that's, I think that's what those those places like, kind of hope for when they, they, they you know, it's like, <laughs> um, but what I'm, I'm unclear on is what ne the game Nina's playing by like, telling I mean, obviously, I, do you think she's playing both sides? I mean, there's. I th do you think she's like trying to figure out which side she actually wants to ultimately be with? I mean, because she told, <laughs> she told Stan about the the walk-in, right? And then, I, and then and that led them to figure out who it was. I'm thinking that maybe she is that her thought is to give him the occasional bit of correct information that is maybe not a huge deal, mm -hmm. so that she can then screw him over on the big stuff, right? I don't know. I, you know, we'll but see I mean, how that plays out. I don't think they knew at the Residentura that she told him about the walk-in. Oh, right? that's true. That's yeah, true. That's, that's but true. she did. You know, she is filing very explicit reports about you know what's going on in that apartment. About so. being about orally serving. Yeah, and being yeah, penetrated. Serving, you yeah. know, um, <laughs> I am finding myself more and more concerned with. When is Martha going to find out, and how's that going to go down? I, I feel know, bad because she's so invested in the relationship with Clark. I, I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> people with two jobs, we all know that they have like a lot going on in their lives. But like the fact that Phil has to like be both the be both this travel agent guy, <laughs> a you know just the, a, you know the Russian spy, spy at, at right. home with his wife, and then also married to somebody, <laughs> and it's like it's like how does this guy like not basically just pop stress pills every day? Yeah, when does he sleep? That, no, that's. <laughs> No, that, that that's clearly a very um, uh, uh, I, that's got to go south at some point. <laughs> I know, but I just but I'm I feel for her so much. I mean, oh, like gosh. that actress has made her such a an empathetic character. Oh, I, it's 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 one of the great things about the show is yeah. that is that you it's cool to see somebody you know do this kind of like subterfuge and like go as far as to marry somebody to like <laughs> but then then you look at this woman and you think like this this person's life is going to be destroyed yeah yeah she's she's in it to win it and she's going to find out at some point that this is all a sham yeah you know? i mean that's why i mean that's why upping the the stakes with the kids being more involved this season is mm -hmm. really great because you know you watch you watch Phil and Elizabeth and you're like you know you like them but they do kill people right right and you know and yet you know and so you're kind of like okay they're they're that's not going to end well for them probably however the show goes but i mean like the kids, you know, the kids can be saved. The kids have a future, and 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 it looks like from the from the uh, coming up attraction scenes from <laughs> next weekend that, that we're gonna, we're going to get a storyline involving the. The, the survivor kid from the dead family. Oh, okay, I was wondering about that. Yeah, my TiVo always cuts off before that. I keep, I keep, <laughs> to keep adding more minutes. Um, and, of course, we have Paige being all snoopy now. 
so that that can't end well. Yeah, no, she, she, <laughs> the looks on her the pages looks now on, on her face are like. Hmm. I mean, there's just a constant look of kind of like suspicion on her face now. Which probably all teenagers think, you know, their parents. It, it's like yeah. that movie Parents, you know, where like you just, everybody thinks their parents are up to something yeah. nefarious, but you know, <laughs> she's right! Well, well, the weird thing is, I was probably Paige's age when Raiders of the Lost Ark came out. <laughs> so like, so like, I'm trying to imagine, like, I wouldn't be cool if like when my dad said, said, let's go see Raiders of the Lost Ark again. I'm like, what if my, you know, it's like, what if my <laughs> what dad... What was that was, about really? really? I know. Yeah, your dad worked for Lockheed. That's <laughs> yeah. a little suspicious. Uh, Rockwell. Rockwell, sorry, but... Same difference. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't defense contracting. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, that was. Uh, uh, you know, it's kind of like you know, it, it, on one level, she's trying to do right by. She's she's using her kids in just the way that you know the husband used the kid. I mean, right, you know, right. she has to go out to this. You know, to meet this like. Was she Costa Rican? The, yes, the, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, and she's using like taking her kids out is like I mean it just makes e it makes every scene of this show very very tense now. Yes, yeah, because you don't know where, where because we don't know either. It's not no, like it's right. not like we're watching that we don't know either. So it it, it could go anywhere and 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 shit could fall out of the sky at any moment. So, yeah, yeah. I, and I love that I love the line um, I love that line she she tells the Costa Rican girl it's like. You know, don't don't be his party. Be his girlfriend. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't party with don't him. Party be, with him. Be his girlfriend. I thought <laughs> that's Spycraft. There um, you go. <laughs> and uh, uh, do you find yourself? Uh, I don't know if you guys talked about this last week. But do you find yourself? I like looking at the cars, trying to guess what cars they are. Is, is that a Reliant K? <laughs> is that a Plymouth? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, although I can't stop myself from trying to see if they're cheating, because like, there were a couple times in the first season where like there were, it was all K cars in the front, and then way back, well, that's an SUV. K cars, yes. <laughs> Well, there were SUVs back then. They just, they, not a whole not lot, but they're Bronco. Lot. I mean, like a Bronco. I, that's true, I guess. I mean, my but grandfather had a Somebody Bronco. told me on Twitter that there was a, there's a restaurant awning with a URL on it in the first <laughs> season. <laughs> I know, it's, it's so unfair because the show is so good that like to yeah. sit there and like sometimes, you can't help it. You just yeah. love looking around and going and like. we've been spoiled by Mad Men. Let's face it, like those true. guys are so hardcore about the anachronisms that, you know, it's, uh, we, 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 they've upped the game. That is true. But um, no, this, this season is, is shaping up to be a corker. Um, and I, you know, I know it's it's almost damning with faint praise, but at this point, but this show is way better than Homeland. Um, right now, it 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 threatens to be in the long term, possibly more interesting than Homeland will yeah. be in the long term. I mean, yeah, it hasn't, you, it, it hasn't been as good as Homeland's first season yeah, yet. Yeah, Homeland's first season has to stand really in, the, sure, in no, TV no, history no, as like no one question. of the great first seasons, but because of that, it's had it's it's struggled. Yeah. Whereas the Americans, I think, started in a very, it was a conventional way, but as, as we talked about, like, you know, a nice individual story, setting mm -hmm. things up, letting you know the character, and now, like, they can, like, kind of, like, go deeper. Yes. And, and successfully, and, yeah. and I think that's certainly proving the case so far with only two episodes. Yeah, so it's getting richer, and we will be back to talk about it more next week. Thanks.